white guys are probably the creepiest at work. Black guys are the creepiest on the way to work. And <laughs> Indians are the creepiest on the internet at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rough Week Podcast, episode three. I'm here with my co-host, Christoph Jean. And our guests, Ryan Long and Danny Polishar from the Boys so, Cast. Yeah, you already know fellas. what it is. We out here, only shooters, bang, bang. <laughs> Straight out of Toronto. Yeah, yeah, that's dude. how we do it. Yeah. Dude, we were with your... Do you ever uh, watch rapper interviews where the rapper won't say anything? They're no, just no, no. me mugging the whole time? There's, yeah, I'll, I was watching some of the New York guys and like legitimately they'll be like, so like, you know, you put out this new song and you're on tour. How's that going? He goes... You know how it is. <laughs> yeah. He's like, why come then? Just don't do the interview. <laughs> but how, you're mysterious. Yeah, isn't that cool and mysterious? It's the though? mystery. You know? He's like, Dan, he's silent from all the murders he's witnessed. <laughs> <laughs> he has PTSD for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's what it kind of is. It it's really like an is, army it's guy. It's a catatonic army guy, but he has grills, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that, yeah. that would be the opposite. He'd be like, how is two? He goes, what? Not the <laughs> 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 what's, your, yeah, what's your hometown? I don't want to fucking. Goes, I don't want to talk about my hometown. How is tour? I don't want to talk about it. Afghanistan. I go, I meant uh, Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same kind of thing, really. There's a lot of cross. Does, uh, does Toronto have any like gangster rappers? Because it's more just Drake. Drake? And Drake. Drake. Drake the hardest. Uh, they Toronto's have, all yeah, shooters. They have Danny's some. not tapped in like I'm I am. Tapped. Yeah, I know. You're not really on. Some, you, you know, you're figuring out the pulse of the rap scene. No, like Ryan here. Yeah, yeah. you ever heard of a little someone called Tory Lanes, Luke? <laughs> oh, didn't he shoot the? Uh, Meg the Stallion. Meg the yeah. Stallion. Yeah. Stop. The Stallion. That's what? what we do. Dude, yeah, yeah. Sh- yeah, we shoot women. <laughs> 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 we snipe broads. That's great, dude. What did? What was she? Saying, you know, right before squawking. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> but she deserved I, I, it. I have it on authority that yeah. she snitched of some sort. No. The police report said she was getting a little chatty. <laughs> <laughs> if you read back the report, yeah. it was like, uh, yeah. She kept trying to rap and it was annoying. The police report was like, you know, and he did already tell her twice before this point. So <laughs> <laughs> craziest thing is he made her do like the like a Western where he's like, dance. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he shot her in the foot. Yeah. He literally was like, damn. Yeah, he he said, shot her. But you're not supposed to shoot like her. It's like a six foot. shooter. And he's like, yeah. 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 I know she got shot, but I heard her recounting the story and she was like, and then he said, Dance, bitch, dance. <laughs> Wait, did that really happen? Swear to God, no. Oh, it's my real. goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like a he told her to dance. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he still shot her in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, and Jesus. I did, and he still shot me. <laughs> and I was dancing, and then my foot hurt. Yeah. <laughs> and his dad is uh, uh, doing, like, a pretty big press tour right now, being like, you know, the police are, like, unfair to black guys, and everyone's just like, okay, well, he did it, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 but he, he definitely <laughs> shot a woman in the foot. What a, way, like, what a way to ruin the movement. To be like, dude, please, uh, you know, George Floyd, yeah. fucking Tamir Rice, Tory Lanez, <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of guys treated yeah. unfairly by the cops. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Tory's dad's like, God damn it, Tory. Yeah, one, peda- one pedophile people. guy being like, us guys can't get treated good. <laughs> yeah, okay, but you actually had sex with a bunch of kids. <laughs> yeah. You really ruined the movement, dude. That sucks. Yeah, everybody just hops on the anti-police brutality movement. It's, yeah, it's pedophiles and bank robbers. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Serial killers. God damn it, dude. That sucks. <laughs> there, was, there was a brutal. hot couple months in 2020 where uh, it, it was a good time. Like, you could kind of do anything, I feel like, as a black dude and... and uh, <laughs> you could do anything as a black dude and be like, dude, I mean, fucking cops, they're pieces of shit. And everyone would have been, everybody would have been like, hey, cops in New York basically for two years just stopped doing their job altogether. So, like, my bodega guy was getting in fights, like, right and left because Jeez. he basically had to be like a citizen police officer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You had yeah. to go full vigilante mode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, I saw a, speaking of, I saw a French Canadian guy. There was a guy walking down the subway while I was sitting, I was just sitting on the subway on the two train, and I feel like a tap on my head, and I look over, and there's this homeless guy. And he's walking down the subway, like in the aisle, and he's tapping everybody with his fist on the top of their heads. And he's like, <laughs> like just like me, old Chinese lady. Just like Super Mario. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Sorry, not that good. Yeah. Yeah. He was just whack them all on us, dude. Just a guy <laughs> trying to have fun at nine in the morning. And, and stop. <laughs> so I was just like, uh, I was like, oh shit, you know. Uh, like I'll just like leave this guy alone. And then the doors open, and he just stands up and sucker punches this old French Canadian. You watch this? Yes. How do you know he was French Canadian? Because I ran over. Sacre bleu! His green legs. Oh, you're like, how do you know he's French Canadian? I'm like, because he had it coming. Give that look about him, dude. Knock the poutine out of his hands. Yeah, dude. Fucking black piece of shit. I, uh, 
the, I, I ran to the cops like I ran off the train. Everybody sprinted off the train. Yeah. I ran to these cops at Penn Station. Like, snitched. snitched. Right? Yeah. I snitched. I 100% snitched. Jesus. And, uh, I know, dude. And I was like, dude, this guy just got punched in the face. It's this old man, blah, blah, blah. And the cops were like, yeah. And they're like eating like a, like a bagel. Like, no, care. where at? I'm like, this train sitting right here. Like, oh, yeah. Is that uptown or downtown? I was like, <laughs> it's, down, it's uptown. It's, it's the uptown. So, oh, what do you look like? I was got a black dude, big guy, wife beater on. Oh, yeah, we'll have to talk to someone, I guess. They're like, no, they're so yeah, over minimal it. effort. And oh, they're yeah. one step away from you. Like, hey, there's a mugging happening. They're just like, bam. <laughs> 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 oh, now, now you want our help all of a sudden, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Let, oh, me, let me take a look at your Facebook. See what you can see. <laughs> I saw a black square on that Instagram, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the fr old French Canadian guy and his daughter came over and uh, the daughter was like, Weeping profusely, yeah. and the old guy was the old guy was kind of a gangster. He was just like, "Welcome to America from Canada, I guess." <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I, the, I remember, like maybe probably like twenty years ago, like college, kind of before college, even it was a, a cops came up to us. A bunch of us were drinking in alley. It was like one of my favorite times with the cop. He comes up and he was just like, "What are you guys all drinking?" And then we're like, "Yeah," and we had like you know forties and a freaking thing. He goes, "That looks fun." <laughs> Alright, you guys have a good time. Like, it just like bummed the cop out. <laughs> he's just like remembering his college days. He's like, yeah, oh, fuck. Uh, he was like, I used to drink it, Alex. He's like, yeah, yeah alright guys, yeah. just you know, cover the bottles up, but you mind if I draw Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy was He was just trying to have a good time. Is that alcohol? Dude. Oh, that's sick, dude. I guess I'll go home to my fucking wife. Yeah, yeah. probably beat the shit out of her because <laughs> I saw that. That looks cool, guys. <laughs> no, I was a my I was walking in Bushwick with my girlfriend during like mid pandemic and we were just like drinking beers and the cops pull up next to us and like, What are what are those? What do you got there? And I was like, They're uh they're beers, cops. Sorry, sir. I, I apologize. We're just you know, it's our neighborhood. We we're having a beer walking around, you know. And this is like when it was, everything was getting hot in twenty twenty. And the guy was like no worries, buddy. Uh, just finish it and just set it on the ground. He's like, <laughs> he said, chug it and litter. That was his, <laughs> <laughs> his literal advice was chug it and litter. And then awesome. my girlfriend's Mexican. She's like, what the fuck was that? I was like, well, fucking old white privilege. They're all <laughs> correct. Oh, I, I, I took that as not the, because you're looking white. I took that as more like the cops are just like, we don't want any trouble. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if the minute you reach for your phone, they go, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no God, you reach for your phone, cop pulls out his own gun, just shoots. <laughs> Legitimately, I yeah. Don't and the cops like, this right now. "Hey, sir, you're not allowed to be doing that." You go, "Oh yeah, well, why don't yeah. we just?" Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> honestly, do it, do what you will with her. <laughs> I'm here with my Mexican wife. <laughs> <It's just instantly. laughs> Dude, that's sick. Well, you, wouldn't, a, you wouldn't want to be arresting a person of color now, would you? <laughs> <laughs> no. We were uh, we were saying we were with you guys the other night. Your buddy had the most Canadian accent I've ever heard. Yeah, he's Danny, he's Danny Martinello. Yeah, that is a caricature of a Canadian. It's yeah. so yeah. hard not to talk. Like him when you're around him, yeah, I can't like, yeah, it. but yeah, it's like for a British sure. person, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, Oh, yeah, you know, I got stopped at the border, and I was like, Oh, yeah, the border, that's tough, huh? <laughs> he's more aggressive than that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here's the best story about this guy so he's actually the peak Canadian, but one time a bunch of dudes were at, you know, probably know what I'm gonna say, but a bunch of dudes were outside the corner comedy club, and everyone was talking shit about something, and it was like. Some some like joke where everyone was like, oh, and then he just stands up. He goes, I fucking love being a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've seen him do a machine gun on the <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I mean, we're going to the Leafs game on Tuesday. Are you going with yeah, that? Yeah, great. Oh, I just nice, see some pock, bud. Yeah. yeah, he was telling us that story. He was like, I got caught, caught at the border. He was like, with 1.4 grams of a, a, a weed, and they put me in state prison. I'm, I'm like, he's like telling this like traumatic story, but it was like, it sounded so adorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. so cute from him. Body comes up to me, so I had to clock the one uh, guy, and then I clock <laughs> the second guy. I just tune him right. He folds right in front of me, eh? <laughs> Dude, ever since like I think it's maybe like the Nelk Boys or something, but there's a, there's a movement of like if you go to like University of Florida, it's the Nelk Boys, yeah. no, yeah. or Letterkenny, or Letter Letterkenny, is a really yeah. big, yeah. big part of it because like, Nelk Boys aren't super Canadian like like Letterkenny or yeah. like Danny. Hockey culture got tied into frat culture, yeah, so yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Dude, you'll be at like Florida State or like you know fucking Alabama, Alabama or something like that, and you're talking to guys. Yeah, bud, you want to like rip a beer or something? Like, <laughs> yeah, you want to yeah, take a yeah. shot? I'm like, where are you from? He's like, Mobile, Alabama. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm from Alabama. Are you chirping me over here? <laughs> <laughs> Alabama, dude, just saying chirping. They're pulling now? each other's jerseys over and fighting in bars. <laughs> this guy's giving a 
cross face chicken wing here. Yeah. <laughs> you want to rip a dart or what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, San Antonio, Texas, born and raised. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should we be honest, it did happen quick because I remember I came here and like things like dart, I'd be like, oh, I'd say it, and people like, what are you talking about? Then two years later, everyone knows that thing, and yeah, I was like, yeah, maybe it's me. But <laughs> yeah. Did you? Got, it was either the not boys or me. Hundred percent, you started it, right? Did everybody talk like that growing up, or was it more like a fratty kind of? I lived it. We're from like around Toronto. That's more like West Coast. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's from Alberta. Cities. He's from the Texas of Canada. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Danny yeah. is. Danny. Is. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. okay. I played hockey, so definitely there was a bit of that. But like, way that's way more of like two hours, three hours outside of the city talking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like rural. I have. Yeah, it's rural. I have yeah. a lot of. I have a lot of people that I know that talk like that. Yeah. And it's comedy. There's tons, but they, it's no people that, that live in New York. Don't talk. Like, I mean, the know. best example of it that most people would know is Norm Macdonald. Uh, like yeah, everybody's yeah, like, yeah. why does Norm Macdonald talk that way? He's like, cause he's from like rural Ontario. Yeah. 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 Like, he's born like, he's you know, hours farm. outside of Ottawa. And yeah. Like, yeah. And he, yeah, that's what they all talk <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah. There's exactly that clip right. of him where he's like the famous nine 11 clip. And he's like, I had to dig for, dig through blood and bro bones to find my brother. And he's like, yeah, he was in Northern Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so great, dude, dude. He's the greatest. Yeah, the uh, I w I was up like uh, in BC, like skiing, like last month. Rural BC, yeah, fucking two guys, guys slopes, <laughs> and it's fun seeing like your Trump country, like yeah. rural, like you I was just Polyevra country. Yeah, that's what they call it now. You picture Canadians being like the you know nice like hyper liberal people, but you're up there. There's like giant red and black like fuck oh, yeah. Trudeau, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, Trudeau. Signs. yeah, yeah. They don't love him. Yeah, it's him in blackface. I mean, that's <laughs> every city. It's like go. 20 minutes outside of the city and they yeah, hate yeah, everyone yeah. in the city. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, yeah, they call yeah. them city-its and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Or whatever the hell. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know, and, but yeah, especially on the West Coast, like the oil people, and especially, I don't know, I think America has this a bit, but like, other, a lot of other countries have this, but those guys, because they're like oil towns and stuff like that, those people, states subsidize the other ones so like on top of the fact that they like hate them they're also like paying more of the tax bill for them oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a, dude we looked at fucking houses in new jersey like nice areas i was like oh maybe we'll like get a like because i was like i want to buy some property whatever and every place was like yeah it's x amount of dollars and then the property taxes were so high and you could like you could feel like a little hint of like racism because like, <laughs> you'd ask it's like a nice suburb and like the blonde real estate lady you're like uh, so why are the property tax so high? She's like, because all the fucking people in Newark, you know, because like, <laughs> we're paying for a yeah. lot of people's kids to go to school. Yeah. Let's just leave it at that. You know, it's not exactly the best place, but I don't know what they're doing with all our money. <laughs> but, uh, those folks in Newark, you're like the N word is in her mind. Yeah. <laughs> like, those folks in Newark, yeah, yeah. You could, like, it's hiding right behind her veneers. Well, that's what I always say with taxes when people say they should have to give you a receipt. That's oh, all. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. to be like, hey, this is what your tax is paid for, and then they should have to say thank you at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, get a, you get a thank you note from the IRS. <laughs> no, I want to, you have to thank you note from the person. So you go, like you paid for this woman's oh, wealth. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> match you up with one tax donor. And, you, and you, sh you get, she has to just give you like a phone call. Like yeah. a zoo, they set up like a Zoom call for you to be like, and yeah. how did, you, yeah. did you enjoy the money? Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's in the enjoy? projects. And she's like, I guess it's fine. I Thank you. <laughs> then you go, I mean, no. next year I could work less hard if you don't want it. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, you don't like the project? Oh, so, oh I'll stop sending the checks. Don't worry. Oh, now, you don't, do you, I don't I appreciate have to do my taxes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, what do you say to Trevor for the cold food you got with your EBT card? <laughs> Dude, that is the greatest thing about EBT is that you can't buy hot you food. You can't buy hot food. Isn't that amazing? Right? What? They're like, yeah, cook you it can. yourself, you oh, broke that's bitch. That is yeah. a little wild, yeah. yeah. I guess because they're saying you're paying, you're, you're paying for like an extra premium thing. Yeah, you're paying a first service not for food and it's like bro come on dude i gotta oh, eat a cold turkey stinks. sandwich because i got a shitty job that or you or it's if, if you don't have to if they're not going to make the person apologize maybe another thing that they could have is like things like n-word passes like, <laughs> 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 like hear me out yeah you get a snap card and and there's different slurs <laughs> there's different slurs like if you pay if, yeah and honestly they're like different hey your, your rate's 42 but it's like you know if you pay 50 percent you can get like an asian slur pass <laughs> if you pay an extra 50 <laughs> <laughs> you clock in at <laughs> at your uh, at your hedge fund. It's called job, solving problems, and you're dude, just yelling at your secretary, Lee Kim, and you're like, 
I can do this. It's perfectly fine. I mean, you know how much taxes I pay? Yeah, you pay me. 70%, you get to be anti-Semitic online. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Asians would be using that the most. In New York, Asians are all like wealthy business owners and they're the most racist people alive. Mm -hmm. There'd really? be Asians paying like 70% yes, like to taxes to say the N-word every day. <laughs> <laughs> Putting the solutions and problems together. Yeah, dude, I like it, dude. It's you need money, they like saying the N-word. <laughs> yeah. so they're just watching old LA riot footage. And like, Fuck, <laughs> wish I had a rooftop. Polishing their gun. <laughs> wish I could have a shotgun <laughs> in New York City. <laughs> dude, we were, we were talking about taxes the other night. We were like, everybody was like, yeah, so if you move to Texas, like every, like all the rich guys that move to like Texas and stuff, I'm like, no, you're, you're spending any time in another state. Like, well, they all were like, yeah, yeah, you can go live there for like a day and not pay taxes. And they were all just got there and the IRS was like, yeah, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, Derek Jeter literally got dinged like tens of millions of dollars because he said he lived in Florida. In Florida. Yeah. While he was playing on the Yankees, and they yeah, just looked yeah, at the yeah. schedule, and they're like, "No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely what don't." Fucking retard. Yeah, spent at least that? eighty days well, in the Bronx. Well, because he saved him ten million dollars a year, probably, or something crazy. Yeah, it's insane. So I mean, he that's just why, tried, like, and I guess his accountants were like, "Don't worry about it. We'll we'll do it." Yeah, yeah. And then the government was like, "Yeah, no, you like we have the." the Schedule for the Yankees. Like, <laughs> you're like, you you're, you're, like, you're like, unless you're like in between yeah. all your days off, you fly to Florida just for this, and they just were like, we don't buy it. Yeah, there's yeah. no way. You yeah, can't you have to, those receipts. Yeah, you, there's definitely just some accountant that like wants you to work with him. It's like, dude, you you fucking you're a Texas citizen. That now. would suck. Yeah, four days a year, dude. You're dude, fine. That would man. suck so bad. That's exactly what happened. A hundred percent. Millionaire some, athlete, and your accountant's like, oh, you can do this, you know. And you're like, this guy's the greatest. And then you just end up Wesley Snipes just doing prison time. You're like, fucking <laughs> yeah. piece of shit accountant. <laughs> yeah, or you get there after, and he's like, oh, by the way, you can't leave for more than a week. And you're like, okay, well, I tour for a living. He's like, well, I guess then there we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over. <laughs> It's Dude, fucking the, over. The one kid was like, oh, I haven't paid taxes in like 10 years. We were like, how much you make? He's like, like 40 grand a year. I was like, you're fine. Literally. He was saying, he said more like 100 and you were giving him, like Luke has without any authority was like, Dude, you're actually 100% good. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll never know. <laughs> I mean, was probably like 200 grand in back taxes. And Luke's like, honestly, he, he said specifically, he goes, statistically, like he goes, it's it's a one in a million chance. I think you said one in 250 <laughs> no. chance. One in 250 chance yeah. is the chance. Yeah. If that's if you make over six figures, this guy didn't. But I was confidently suggesting tax evasion. <laughs> like he was asking for advice. So I was like, "You're good, dude. You're yeah, good. Don't need to. Awesome. Don't why, why be the party pooper with anyone else's problems? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like pay? Don't, dude. Yeah, you know, just gotta be like, I'm not going. I'm just gonna stop going to work, and my boss can suck it. You're like, it's actually a pretty reasonable move. Yeah. <laughs> dude. What do you have? Nothing in savings? Do it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, Paint. your boss will understand, and if not, that's his problem, dude, bro. Dude, you're a painter. That's who you are. <laughs> you don't work in IT, man. Come on. <laughs> just no giving, sketches. Just everyone. Yeah, just going to bars and giving people the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do that. I want to get hammered at like and talk to strangers about their problems and just call your boss right now and tell him yeah. to suck you off, bro. That's how you assert authority <laughs> over a man. Dude, my wife, she cheated on me. Take her back. She sounds good. She Take sounds her back. cool. She'll respect that. Yeah, she'll respect that. Go to a bunch of old guys at like an Irish pub be like 17, 18 what's age these days? <laughs> <laughs> they actually changed the age of law of consent don't worry about yeah, checking yeah, it I checked right for it yeah. it's, it's, they got rid of it yeah. there, is no, there isn't one are the cops really gonna stick you for a three month day? oh her birthday's in three months oh big <laughs> you're in love <laughs> you love her you're helping her with science class <laughs> She's you can only get busted for if the girl shows the ID on camera that's a rule <laughs> 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 it's Alan Creed's <laughs> <laughs> she shows her ID today's newspaper. <laughs> it's the only way to do it. No, that's you fucking get awesome. Busted. Wow. That's fucking amazing, dude. Yeah, you should do that. That's what you like. That's Check the hard plan. drive. Check my hard drive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She always does this right before each one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember I love getting bad cop advice. Our buddy Monty once, remember? Uh, he, his thing he used to tell people, he goes, if you ever get pulled over by the cops, what you do is you just, if you have vodka and you're drunk, just chug the vodka um, yeah, no, if you chug it nearby well, or whatever, because if, no, if you no, chug no, it in it, front of them, the thing is that they were like, "Oh, you were drinking and driving." He's like, "No, I just chugged it." Now you watched me. 
Yeah, yes. th- yeah. They basically, you take, yeah, you take it out of like your con. He's like, turn off your car, and then right as like the guy knocks on your window, it's like pull out just like a you know a pint of vodka, crack it, yeah, and then just take a huge <laughs> step and then twist, put it back, and then just be like, can I help you with something, officer? And they'll be like, what the fuck are you doing? And you're like, sorry, I just get nervous when I get pulled over. So. <laughs> but then the thing is, I guess if you're loaded, then they go, well, we don't know if when you when you got like, did you get drunk at that point, or were you already drunk? And then I guess this is the theory. Every cop I've talked to said, e- not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, not a fucking chance. What if like, you, the yeah. law is that y- if you if you pull over your car and drunk, that just counts as drinking and driving because you're already still behind. I mean, you're not even allowed yeah, yeah. to be in like the front seat of a car that's off drunk. Also, the co- this is based on what the cop sees. Yeah, so yeah. the cop's like, he's like, yeah, but you saw me uh, chugging the vodka. And he goes, how about I didn't? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or I didn't. You're asking your cop buddy, like, what if you pull over a guy for drunk driving and he just starts chugging a bottle of vodka in front of you? Fuck, I don't know, shoot him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, the cop's so like, annoying. yeah, that would actually work. He would get us. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> yeah. You should do that. That's like, a good my idea. Hands are tied. You chugged your bottle of vodka. Yeah, I was thinking about it. What if you got? What if you're hammered, right? And then you pull into your house and you just run into your house and you close the door, lock the door. That happened to a friend of mine. I thought I've thought of that for myself as well. Because you're like, I'm half a mile from my house. If I just drive to my house and run inside. Oh, but he sees you and stuff. He sees you run inside. If the car is yours, it's identified to yours. I bet you they could put that together. Yeah. But I've always thought, like, what if the... They don't even know who you are. (laughs) Uh, I can't remember what I was thinking about in the exact scenario. But yeah, like some version of like a cop's chasing you and then you get away from him for a second, then pull your car over and then just run away, period. Uh, just yeah. leave your car. And just don't he, even... Ever, he never, never got a really good look at it. I mean, if they don't get a good look at you, yeah, you might be able to get over that. Something like that. Yeah. But if you drive to your house and run I mean, again, it's car, a huge risk though because if you don't get away from them, then they're like, okay, well now it's also whatever you're doing. You're plus just evading the police. Yeah. It's like you're just tacking them on. I really yeah, want to know I think my thing was better. I, <laughs> a buddy of mine growing up got a DUI in his driveway. Which kind of a dick move on a cop's part. Like you could have pulled him over a mile back. Like you had to humiliate him, like in front of his family. I think you should have the rule. Like first of all, I fucking made it. Mm -hmm. I'm literally at my destination. You got a medal, yeah. I made it. Yeah, MVP. No harm, whatever. No harm, no foul. Something like that. (laughs) What? You get like a gold star. (laughs) Yeah, dude. You get one free DUI after that. Mm. Dude, that's kind of bullshit. Yeah, I like that rule. Yeah, I think drunk driving is a little too. We're too harsh on. Yeah, but a buddy of mine got. <laughs> we were getting chased by the cops. <laughs> you think it's too harsh of a punishment? I think it's too hard. I think people are like, you know, it's like a total, you know, red X on people's life, or you know, it's just like they're stereotyped and they're they're made to feel less than. <laughs> That's a hot take. We're too we're too hard on drunk drivers. <laughs> they're too hard on drunk. I mean, first of all, there's a stigma around them. Yeah, is it because it's uh, St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah your, I'm trying to celebrate your Irish hot culture. St. Patrick's Day take. Yeah, it is my hot St. Patrick's Day take, dude. I feel like just. They should legalize it for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great if you just legalized DUIs. One yeah. purge. Yeah, yeah, just the purge for one law and it's St. DUIs. St. Patrick's Day, 4th of July, night yeah. before Thanksgiving. And if Halloween. you're a kid that's on the road, that's on you. You know what I mean? You don't bring yeah. your you don't bring your kid out to the crash derby night. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, keep him at, what do, you, what, do you have a piano recital? Who gives a shit? You bring the bad car out St. Patty's. <laughs> the beater yeah. comes out. I had a friend of mine when I was in high school whose dad actually did that. I, I don't know what it's he called. He had a beater that he but like who, who does like the the racing but uh, where you oh demolition t- derby demolition derby yeah, yeah and he like sick. literally like had a car and like where they total it <laughs> and then every like on you know it would be like on Saturday afternoon and then like the whole next week he'd just be like hammering the panels back into place and like <laughs> that's the ultimate midlife crisis job <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah well it wasn't his job I know yeah, it's yeah. a hobby <laughs> crisis hobby oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be great <laughs> no yeah, but yeah. that is like you you know the wife divorces you and then you're just like what, what's dad been doing it's like well he started doing demolition derby so yeah. he's been crashing his car on purpose yeah. he's got a 22 year old girlfriend he's a demolition derby guy now for his job. <laughs> that would be awesome i'd love to actually participate everyone in a demolition derby should be drunk yeah it's, actually, it's one step above a carney i think it's actually yeah. safer though. i went to a demolition derby in rural florida and they were ra- one of the events was they were racing full size school buses, <laughs> and then there was like full on demolition derby yeah. just crashing into each other. That was awesome. All That's of so it was sweet. super fun, and it was like hardcore like Florida Man Rednecks. That's the they greatest. They were all wasted. They were all like just partying yeah. and getting drunk the yeah. whole day before the derby. And one of the guys that I was talking to was named Skittle. He called himself Skittles, and he had an ankle bracelet on. 
Sure. I was like full wear, like drunkenly wearing an ankle bracelet. Like I'd love to hear them, him like explain this to his like parole officer or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was at the derby. The yeah, yeah, he had to sell it too. Yeah, I was I was within two miles of my house. Yeah, drunk off my ass, smashing school bus. I have, a, <laughs> I have a special ankle bracelet that lets me stay at my house in the derby. That's the two places I can go. I was I was participating in the community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a fundraiser at the end. Like tickets went to raise money for some cause. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't even know what cause it would be. And he but, was, he had like the crime was like he shot his neighbor or something like that's a crime. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crime, crime, yeah. I'm like some bullshit. Like, yeah, shot his fucking neighbor. Dude. All the crimes in those like rural places are like my neighbor was talking shit. <laughs> He's fucking my ex girlfriend, so I went over there, kicked the door in. Like it's like yeah. everybody's just shooting people who live yeah. like within three houses. It's I also not in the chest. It's not looking good for you either when the cop comes and he, he's like, he comes to your workplace to see if you did it and you're like getting out of your demolition dare car and he's like, okay, so he did it. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. 100%. I don't need to know any more information. Yeah. What was your job? Yeah. You work in the demolition derby? <laughs> yeah. It'd be a great job to have if you wanted to commit vehicular manslaughter. Huge job. No evidence. That. Yeah. That's oh, what, I seen a, a, you know what I've seen a, a lot of videos? Hood? Yeah, there's a dent on the hood. There's a lot of videos lately on Twitter th these days where... Um, Someone will like the Florida or whatever places where you let have carry, yeah. and then people come in, and a guy has a gun, and then they shoot the guy twice, and then he then he goes on the ground, and they shoot him like five more times, Jesus. and the guy goes to jail because once he's on the ground, they just yeah, shot him. Have you many seen times. the video? You gotta of the, be careful with how many times you shoot him. Have you seen the video of the guy? He's in his car, he's driving. And then I guess someone on like a highway somewhere in Florida shot at him. Jesus. So then you see him, he's driving like this. You see that? And he pulls out his gun and he's like, pulls out his gun. And he's like, oh, he starts shooting yeah. him. And he just like this last week, they're like, he was exonerated. Fully. Dude, and they didn't yeah. shoot him. They what? threw a water bottle at his car. Wait, what? No, I think they did. They at least pulled out a gun. I don't know if they shot him. Really? But they, they showed, yeah. I mean, he got off. Like it was this week. Yeah. Like it's so crazy. He's like in his car and he looks around and he just goes, like this, and he's driving on the highway. He goes, and he just starts firing shots while he's driving, and he's like trying to. And he doesn't un he doesn't like roll down his no, he window. Roll down the he window. Just shot through the window. Shot through, through the, the window. window yeah. and the glass is going everywhere, and he's like. Ducking what? the and glass. Someone was trying to shoot him first. Is that yeah? Go happened? find the video. Yeah, here. This yeah, yeah. yeah. Florida yeah. man. Is it this guy? No, 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 no. no. Uh, no. This, this is, is not going to be. The thing easy is, this is like not no, going to no, be easy to find. Florida road, do Florida, <laughs> uh, Florida road rage shooting. There's Getting so, away from the this. The funny thing is, there's this is like, just this is, fact, just this is impossible. The to fact find. that you search this and so many things come up, and you're like, all charges dropped for man accused of this guy. Oh shit! Oh, and charges have been dropped against this guy. He was reported by his own dash cam opening fire. On another driver on I 95. Why is he shooting? They cut him off? No, no, no. no. Asian driver? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I think they flashed the gun at him. Or, uh, uh, yeah, or they shoot at him. Yeah, Miami dead. Look at that shit. This chilling Whoa. video Dude, he's <laughs> well, empties, empties the clip on the fucking highway. Seems bad at guns, eh? He's terrible at He's driving. He he's not like even trying, Dave. Uh, Look, this I is him. What did he say? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got a suit on now. Hopper faced charges including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'm very relieved. Yeah, somehow looks more scummy with the suit on, eh? But now he's speaking to us as prosecutors dismiss those charges. It's been a long process. It's been almost two years. It happened in June of 2021. According to Florida Highway Patrol, Popper was behind the wheel of this black Toyota Venza when he cuts off another driver. That driver starts tailgating. Popper slams the brakes. Troopers say the other driver then hurls a water bottle. Popper maintains oh, it was gunfire. He, he said he heard I the watched water the video. Oh, it was just a water it bottle? It was a water bottle. And that was fine? Yes. He was, what? The guy threw a water bottle at his car, and he unloaded a clip on the guy, How and then the... got off on Stand Your Ground. That's illegal? In Florida, yeah, Florida's yeah. insane. Just a water so what, what, what was, what's the actual law? I think the idea is that he, because he thought it was a gun. <laughs> it's the Stand Your Ground law, I guess. Because in Florida... Oh, now oh, goes... Fish fish down, down, dude. Dude. What the oh, hell, Jesus dude? Jesus Christ, this fucking fish. I fucking dude. bought that fish, man. I'm sorry, dude. That is your favorite decoration. That's my favorite decoration. I like the yeah, I-95. Like, that's like in Miami. Yeah. No, that's in Miami. I love how that guy, you know, once the court case is over, he's talking like he was, you know, and obviously there was an injustice to me and I got away with it, you know, and they, like it's been right. And he should have been like, what he should be saying in that interview is, woo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I did not think it was a gun. <laughs> I'm going to come clean. I was just mad that day. <laughs> I guess, uh, I, unlike him, I dodged a bullet. <laughs> so I don't understand this because it says 
He he was slamming on his brakes, then opening fire seconds later, and then the trooper said the driver then hurled the water bottle towards Popper's. So it says like it's the opposite. Yeah, but, but Popper says, maintains opening, it was gunfire. But it was gunfire after he started shooting at him. I don't. Or is it this says, just how it's Florida Highway Patrol said the other driver. Yeah, then hurled the water bottle. Slamming on his brakes and then opening fire seconds later. Yeah, I think they wrote this out of order. Yeah, maybe. Hindsight is twenty twenty. There are always things we can look back and say we wish we but he didn't done hit differently. <laughs> That's so crazy too. Hindsight's yeah, like I, I wish. would have not have pumped the brakes. I would have taken a different tactic. That's the part he regrets is pumping the brakes. Definitely trying to de-escalate a little yeah, better. Not yeah, a little better than the, unloading the full <laughs> clip while you're driving. He, but he doesn't even mention that. He says I wouldn't have pumped the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I would have still shot the fucking guy, but I wouldn't have uh, brake checked. Oh, he's saying that's why he was shooting bad because he was braking too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, dude, the recoil on that like gun of his, it would kind of fucked him up. He's, yeah, he's bad at shooting. I don't want you guys to think a I'm a great bad shot, shot dude. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I would have had two on it and steered with my knees. <laughs> I was on the big knee steer. I once yeah. went two and a half hours without touching the wheel with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary rip on a highway. One on the fucking pump, dude. <laughs> <laughs> on a highway. <laughs> <laughs> it actually pisses girls off so much when you're driving with them and you f- refuse to touch. Because <laughs> they can't do it? No, they're just jealous, because they're so like, they put, your, it, put your hands on the wheel. You're like, why? I'm good. I got the knees covering it. Yeah, it's dude, like, I'm Ryan, good. put your hands on the wheel. I'm scared you're going 105 <laughs> slow down, Ryan. I don't give a fuck. Fucking all die today. I don't just like shit. Tr- trolling your girl while you're driving on the highway is like so <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, hey, you made your point, and you're like, honestly, I think I got a couple more hours yeah, in me. <laughs> I think my girlfriend would just grab the wheel. She's like, I'm doing it now. <laughs> and then we, you know, you fight her off. Well, you yeah. have your hands to fight her off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you, you can punch her, her like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you give her a nice. No, props, what you do is just put one too. <laughs> no, you reach over and put her seat back, and then <laughs> <laughs> you turn on her heat warmer. Stop. <laughs> you ever seen those when they have? That's the. Uh, the, the girl I mean there's a million of them but the girl that shows you when someone you get in your car and then someone strangles you how to get away from them yeah and there's like 45 steps so it's all, <laughs> you're basically like you're getting you're a little you're like a girl that's 110 pounds there's a big man behind you strangling you go hey what you do so you grab here put your thumb here then you grab the other thumb put it here wrap that around then what you do is grab your other arm <laughs> post the thing back then you post it back and then you kick it back then you slide out turn around open the door and you're like hey you're dead yeah. <laughs> you're long Not gotta be practiced point. It, though. <laughs> have you ever been choked? Yeah. I mean, not in an actual choking situation, not in a kinky fun way. Like, have you ever, like, if you get choked and they actually stop blood, it's too, you're out. You're just you're out. out. Quick. I've done, I've done that to someone and I've had it done to me. And you uh, just go out two seconds. Younger, yeah. You go out like, I, yeah. I no, but this is time. talking about like mafia style. The guy's got a rope around your neck. Why does he have a fucking rope, dude? He because he's, his elbow. Well, none of these scenarios probably happen that yeah, often. Yeah, I got my good choking <laughs> string for when I come up behind bros. It doesn't even make fucking any a sense. A lot of them are very like, okay, so you're often, you know, all of us have been in that scenario yeah. where one of the mob's hit men is in the back of your trunk. Yeah, he's when got come piano back to the wire. Store. He's eating the cannoli. He's got a big hat on. And he, yeah, yeah. He's like, you're gonna reach it. back. He's got a cannoli in his pocket. <laughs> smush that. <laughs> Grab the cannoli. He'll get mad because you smush his favorite cannoli. Oh my cannoli! <laughs> well, what hey, do you want to do? Fucking <laughs> smush my fucking mama Gucci. If it's a Tuesday, his kids are gonna be working, so the guma's beside him. You're gonna want to punch the guma. He's gonna tend to the guma. <laughs> Like, oh, Tony, he's fucking hitting me. That's your chance. Get your hands <laughs> off my fucking bro. <laughs> if he's with it, if, if he's with his wife, don't hit her because he'll thank you for doing it. <laughs> yeah, if you hit her, he's going to say thank yeah. you. He was going to do that anyway. You saved him time, actually. <laughs> My my buddy was doing Krav Maga. And he's like, brag. He's like, dude, I'm getting pretty. Like, I can really defend myself now. And I was like, oh yeah. Everyone says that's me bullshit. A video. It's dude. It's like every little Just kick like, him in the balls. Right? Dude, every oh, every lesson Krav is Maga. like every lesson is like. So when a guy's charging at you with a sword, this is what you do. <laughs> it's completely unusable. No, well, that's no, that's for Israelis to fight off the Palestinians. So yeah. it's actually that's pretty actually relevant. Pretty good. Yeah, and then you go and you kick him in the dick. That's all it is. They're coming at you with their Kirby yeah. swords. Yeah, they have yeah. a Kirby. Aladdin sword. I mean, yeah. if it's for defending off Palestinians, 100 percent of the Lesson should be how to dodge a rock. Yeah, how to yeah, dodge yeah, a yeah. Ball. Ball. rock based defense. <laughs> oh, yeah, how first to, of all, how to dodge a rock? Aim your gigantic missile at him. Like, yeah. what the fuck? It could not be more uneven of a battle. And or just stay out of the kids' hospitals altogether. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hospitals are hotbeds. Hotbed for rocks, especially yeah, guys, after I they've did, been bombed. Guys, be careful, okay? We're just yeah. we're a pro. We're this a is a good, this is a good luck charm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to. I just want the show to on go our well. day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what the snakes On our were. one day a year. He wanted to make Danny feel comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Are you Jewish, Danny? Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. 
<laughs> Sick. So anyway, uh, <laughs> well then, Polishuk. What is that? Polish? Yeah, Krav Maga is a scam. Russian. D- our buddy JJ was taking Krav Maga for yeah, a J- yeah. JJ's fucking yeah. You know, yeah. obviously we all know JJ. He oh, was JJ Lieber. Yeah, JJ <laughs> Lieber was over two weeks. Legitimately, he had That's a good amazing. month where he was taking Krav Maga. Oh, he's doing any dick based martial arts. Yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it, you are right though. It is very specific. It's like how to defend from someone stealing your cheese slice from your <laughs> work computer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> JJ's also full like Huberman pilled. Like JJ's like I'm intermittent fasting. I'm doing. I'm he's doing all the things, He was yeah. like on the best was what was his nootropics thing when he was on. Uh, Alpha Brain. He had like some showcase, and he like literally put out some like in Toronto and like some message on Facebook where he's like, "I'm out of Alpha Brain." It's like, can anybody hook me up? He like needed, <laughs> exactly. he needed black he's, market Alpha he's Brain. Alpha Brain withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He's like, oh, I just need elk meat or something. I don't know what to look at. Dude, <laughs> he was telling me a story that like you guys were at some club in Toronto, and he's like, and I got I got these fries, and it was a big plate of fries, and like I knew uh, he was with like one of you guys. I, and he was like, you know, I'm with Danny, and then you know I knew Danny was gonna have some of my fries, and I'm like. That's fine. It's a quite a big the story he's telling you. Yeah. yeah. And then he goes, and then he goes, and then some open mic kid was like, ooh, can I have a fry? And JJ said, get your fucking open mic or fingers away from my friend. <laughs> Yo, that's him telling, telling you a zinger that he said to an open micer nine years ago. Yeah. <laughs> when he was also open mic. <laughs> Yo, so anyways, it was, April, it was April. That was for sure the Imperial Pop. April, it was April 4th, 1998. <laughs> you, I looked at him and I said, get your open mic, your fingers away. I was high-fived by 19 cars. <laughs> <laughs> they listed me. They hoisted me up like it was my mitzvah. Yeah. <laughs> That's such, such a funny story to bring up to one, 10 years later. <laughs> yeah, he, I, and then was, I said. <laughs> That's my favorite comedy stories where the comedians have a story that ends with them just doing a cool, yeah. just letting someone have it Those verbally. Those are the greatest, dude. Well, so many people have bits like that. Like, I did that joke at a show in fucking Minnesota yeah. and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you just, yeah. you, you spent like three days thinking of a zinger you wish you No, saw. I do this. I say that I yeah. did that joke at a show and then I say, and then also I did the second part that I just did there at a different show. <laughs> I said that. And funny enough, I also said that what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an endless meta loop. <laughs> just a recursive comedy. <laughs> and we were at this show and I was saying this right now. <laughs> just hold up a mirror, <laughs> dude. That's fucking. That's yeah, insane. it's an endless loop. <laughs> that is, yeah. Dude, well, that's, that's funny. Tough. You guys didn't laugh because I was at a show recently, and they did laugh. That's great <laughs> when you have a. That's funny. You guys didn't laugh. You have a didn't laugh line. <laughs> yeah, How would you yeah. ditch that one and just do a does laugh line and not have a different setup for when this one bombs? I don't know. I don't really need it. Oh yeah, we're trying to fix uh, Danny's. Yeah, let's yeah, fix Danny's here. Let's talk to Chip. Yep. All right, Good. we're back yeah. and we're live. Just had there to plug go. them in. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Ian was fucking putting it up his nose for boogies so he could eat them. There is it that you have to put it in halfway? Is that what it is? You Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Because I like sometimes where like no, that was me. That for was some stuff for you. Me. Yeah, you you. Checked. No, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did it because uh, we switched around. Luke wanted these headphones and that headphones. These ones think. actually suck, and I didn't want to give you shitty yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. funny. Luke got the that's bad funny. Ones. Like when I do the bathhouse or whatever, there's yeah. one in the, at the stand, and there's one seat that's like totally busted. So like I sit in the busted seat. Yeah. And then yeah, like the past yeah. two weeks though, I, after it ends, I go fuck my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> It's like fucking on my back. <laughs> so funny, you sat in the bus. Michael Michael Fox is like ninety pounds. Like I know, but it's like legitimately pretty busted. Yeah, yeah. There's like a spring coming through <laughs> it or yeah, something. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, you're like a cushion for it or something. Yeah, All right. You want to watch this guy? This guy. Yeah, this guy. We're all wearing green, eh, for the patties. Yeah, yeah for patties. Not me. Oh, you forgot? Uh, I hope I don't get a, you or something. I'm gonna get a pinch. Yeah, yeah, I watched the South. I watched the South. Yeah, you didn't know you were green. You get a pinchy. Have you seen the South Park? No. Oh my god, I watched it last night in Butters. Uh, is like so in this. I don't want to ruin it too much, but basically, Butters is like super in the. Doesn't super, want to spoil it. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah, then, I didn't know about this. Pinch, we'll spoil, I didn't know about this, Park. this pinch thing well, it's, it's where you get a pinch if you're not wearing green. Is gay now. But so, anyways, Butters uh, is at school, and this girl's not wearing green. So he goes, "Oh, you're gonna get a pinch," and then he gets the fucking arrested for sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Let's just, do, let's just let's, let's just let's just watch stuff. Yeah, Why do a fucking yeah, good good half hour. Yeah, South Park. Well, I never heard the pinch <laughs> thing until literally last night. Oh yeah, no, you don't it. wear green. You get let's pinch. just go through movies. South Park. Right. Then we'll do Borat for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> List off some of our favorite Dumb and Dumber movies. <laughs> <laughs> let's just do quotes. Dude, I can quote Dumb and Dumber the whole fucking. I'll thing. do the mask for a little. <laughs> oh, I love the mask. Dude. Somebody stop me. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fun one. Holy testicles. Did you know about the pinch thing? 
<laughs> Yo, yeah, what do you about that this for a culture clip? Too. I didn't know that pinch thing for my culture. No, but, uh, but <laughs> I don't think it's funny. I don't think my culture. Co- a lot of my relatives is more like a pinch of heroin than they die. <laughs> <laughs> How Irish are you? Half. Half? Okay. You have Ireland That's That side's fairly Irish. Are they like, like in Ireland? Yeah, like immigrated here, poor, like the whole, you know, whole thing. How Scum. long ago? <laughs> Scum. It's fucking dregs of the earth. Yeah. Grandparents. Yeah, like they're all McFucks. dirt drug addicts. Yeah. Oh, nice. 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 Why did they go to Canada? Are there a lot of Irish people in Canada? Yeah. Honestly, is there? I don't know. Uh, it's like a Commonwealth kind of country. So there, there, I, we I get a lot of that riffraff from over there. <laughs> I feel like America people care about their heritage more. Like, I don't think I know anyone that's Irish that cares about being Irish, right? Yeah, that's I, Not I think of an American. The yeah. fact that you said you were Irish, I'm like, oh, I thought he was Canadian. I'm like, nobody's from somewhere. But in yeah. my head, it's just like every Canadian yeah, person I mean, is just Canadian. I don't like think of myself Irish. as Irish. No. Yeah. No. That's you, a big American like, thing. <clears throat> it's a big American thing. Ryan's an Irish name. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. To be like I'm a quarter Scottish, yeah, it's very American. White Nobody, people, well, it's just because we all immigrated here. I'm I don't one know, we seventh have no Portuguese, and I'd appreciate it if you respected that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As a person of color, I am one seventh yeah. Portuguese. I'm a uh, one quarter, whatever gets me booked on comedy. Shows. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish. Just whatever changes. Nah, not that one. Um, <laughs> How about yeah, funny? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, one quarter funny. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> How about one quarter more time writing jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Got his ass, dude. <laughs> get him. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Scope him. The real, Duck. The way to get like uh, industry stuff as a white guy, you ha- you do have to be Jewish, but you, it's not enough to be a white Jewish guy. You have to do like a one man show about your like what your journey like as a Jewish man. I need to just get a. Yeah, I know. I need a Jesse Smollett thing. I basically need like a good. I'll Smollett you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll cool. the shit out of you, man. It's you so need funny two buff guys? Say no yeah, more. Yeah, two big fucking guys. <laughs> two buff Irish two guys? Two big, giant, strong anti-Semites? <laughs> <laughs> this is Palestine country. <laughs> yeah, get... Yeah. Oh, it's, like, that, it's that gay asshole from Boys Cast. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they said. Right? It's I that think, Jew fuck from Boys Cast. <laughs> I believe it was six million, but I think it should have been six million and one. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, and then it, it cuts to us, and we're still Nigerian somehow. Yeah. <laughs> just like, we like we want no, to we're do in blackface. Yeah, obviously. we're in blackface, and we just do Nigerian voice. We do. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> we're both Nigerians. <laughs> We do not we, like the Jewish We would like people. to kill the man from the boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is 4chan country. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that too. half of the boys cast is Jewish. <laughs> you did not. So angry. <laughs> you did not good. uphold your promises on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> The Patreon for, episode was one week late. For that, you will die. <laughs> and for this, I will hit you on the head. I am so sick of hearing about the athletic green. <laughs> <laughs> Promo code boys cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, dude, we're doing your ad reads. <laughs> yeah. You and should d- bring us on to do your ad reads in Nigeria. In Nigeria, yeah. 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 Great. What <laughs> else, you guys? Meundies, you got those? Or <laughs> you guys could do athletic browns because <laughs> greens is a little bit of a higher class product. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> athletic browns because <laughs> we're Nigerian. <laughs> I mean, a lot of athletic browns coming out in Nigeria. You know what I'm oh. Just yeah. nineteen dollars yeah. a month for the finest dirt covered vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the soil straight from the African coast. <laughs> vegetables so fresh they haven't been cleaned off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, let's oh. watch. Uh, this is this a guy's video. A, this guy's incredible. This, this guy's is a, okay. This is like a call-in show for uh, what is it? A, a imam? It's a, like it's a, a Muslim a, priest and imam? Yeah, he's like a. Yeah. <laughs> what are they called? A mom. A mom? A mom. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, a brown show. rabbi. It's a brown rabbi. <laughs> yeah. I love this guy. Where'd you find this? Have you seen him? <laughs> no. Dude, he's no, so I just like great. already love it. I, I know, mean, like, this I know these type of clips for the so shows great. over there. Dude, it's, it's unbelievable. So it's unbelievable. If a married man Turn it up. sucks the breasts of his wife after pregnancy and drinks milk from it, does it void their marriage? <laughs> First of all, this is not natural. Void the marriage. <laughs> a grown-up man to suckle his uh, uh, at this age. You could go and buy some coffee or, <laughs> or drink milk if you're interested. But to do this is a bit ridiculous and weird. <laughs> Does the prohibition continue? And is he considered to be a prohibition. child of his wife through <laughs> suckling? The answer is no. <laughs> he said, "Is he considered a child now of his wife?" 
Oh, there's so many good things there. First of all, he said it's prohibition when you're not allowed to. And then the, the sec- also, what it was like, yeah. like the guy's like, I want to suck my wife's titty milk. He was like, I don't know if you know this, but you can get coffee. <laughs> <laughs> like the, issue was, it was, the issue was nothing sexual. Yeah. Is there like, something? Like, oh, what? 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 Uh, is, is there something in the Quran that expressly prohibits drinking breast milk? Probably not, dude. I don't know. He just, so that's what I wonder, but it seems like there might be. He it, is, the Quran. it is so funny he reacted exactly. <laughs> he just suggesting other beverages. Like He reacted exactly how one of your boys would. He, he's just like, Dude, just have a beer. <laughs> just, have a beer dude. just have a fucking. No, I really soda, like drinking dude. tit milk. That was the, oh, yeah. the it rally thing. A two-year period of lactation. Yeah. So after two years, you're not allowed. But what if I only lactated? What if I only got it for one year and then I save a year for later? A nursing mm. mother is entitled to receive compensation from the father for nursing the child. Compensation, compensation. like I'll suck the rest of the milk out of this. <laughs> uh, I think con- you, you get like a couple bucks for for making good tit milk. Yeah. I mean, after I would uh, suck on the wife's titty, I would flick a quarter at her. <laughs> <laughs> I just put a milk to <laughs> buy yourself something nice. You wipe off the milk mustache. Look at this. The mother receives the reward of a good deed for every, for every single, single drop she goes. She goes, so what do I get for this? And you go, you get a good deed. One good <laughs> deed. Later, One I'll do something nice for it. <laughs> What's that good deed? I'm going to get rid of the milk from that other titty of yours. <laughs> 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 I also loved it like I expected it to you can be relieve your tits of that pesky milk that's a good deal. <laughs> I expected it to be more like deep like religious reasons why he can't yeah. do it he's like it's also weird <laughs> it's ridiculous well that's the Quran does say thou shall not be ridiculous <laughs> he goes what are you Rob dear dick <laughs> it's gross and nasty and Muhammad peace be upon him would be like yuck <laughs> 71st verse of the Quran is stop creeping everybody out <laughs> stop being a fucking weirdo dude it's a little bit of kink shaming from the Quran though yeah, yeah that's all. true I don't like that <laughs> no from the Quran the Quran's they're so shaming. open sexually I know like, yeah they're such the kink shaming yeah, the Quran's known for its sexual Sexual liberation. Oh, cool. The Quran's down with BDSM as long as it ends in death. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the D is. Yeah, tie her up, throw rocks at her. It's fun, you know. It's good. <laughs> if she was not. She walked in front of you. Yes, yeah, you can, you can choke your wife as long as you choke, choke her to death. <laughs> <laughs> I've choked many of my former wives to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, a wet nurse can feed only a child if the mother's milk is not available. Right. I like that rule. Cool. What's the rule? A, w- a woman can't get someone else to to breastfeed her baby if she's able to do it. It's like don't be lazy. You got tits. Come, Come on, on, yeah. It's like you know you got legs. You can walk through the kitchen. You got tits. You can feed your baby. Uh, how about this? I I'm, I get that you're saying hey, you can't give your. But what if the baby's full and you just ask if anyone wants kills? <laughs> 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 anyone, anyone want to kill this? You want to kill this? <laughs> it's a little left. The titty, yeah. No, that yeah. it's it's cash. Because he's a little cash. full. Anyone want to kill this? <laughs> it's cash. Titty's cash. Titty's titty's is that cash. the last part true? It says cash. the more a woman breastfeeds, the less likely she is to get breast cancer, and that's in the Quran. I've been telling you. That's that sounds like a that sounds like the type of thing a Indian man would tell a woman. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. that does sound like the type of thing they would yeah. make it into a Quran. Is like just uh, if you uh, if I suck on the bubs, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, cancer uh, gets. Uh, I'll, I'll suck <laughs> the lump right out. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. I'm trying to keep you alive. <laughs> I mean, and the thing is, he is a doctor. That's hey. the fucked up part. <laughs> hey, this is, tell me if you think of my theory that I thought of uh, earlier today is that. Uh, White guys are probably the creepiest at work. Black guys are the creepiest on the way to work. And Indians are the creepiest on the internet at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Pretty accurate, right? That's 100%. That's great. <laughs> like, white guy's the most likely to, like, take a photo of the girl's foot at work or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Black yeah. guy's the Snip, hollering yeah. at them on the way to work. Yeah, the black yeah, guy yeah, yeah. yells at her into work. And then the, the white guy, when she leaves work, sniffs her seat. <laughs> and then the Indian guy's doing it to someone else at some other workplace. Yeah, and the Indian guy in another... T- in another the fucking time zone. She gets a text at work that's like, please, please send her bubs. I know where you live. I have IP address. Send Vagine and Google Play gift card. Dude, my favorite is when they'll show it. It's like one of like a, a obvious like fake photo. It's like not even AI, like just straight up a picture of someone and then like Indian dudes are just like, you're so hot, I would lick you. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, like everyone's like, this is not even close to looking like a real person. It's, it's, like, it's like a fuzzy picture of Gianna Michael. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you're beautiful. What just, do you I like to do back. for fun? <laughs> Those look like they have so much milk in them. <laughs> Please, you will get cancer if I do not come over. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah but uh, no, I mean they are they're good people. The Indians. <laughs> uh, oh, the best. All Ian, six billion of them. Can you bring up the uh, the town hall one? I fuck with the Indian bros. There's two town hall ones. That this, one. That this one. one. This one. This one. This one. This one's great. Yeah. <laughs> this is like this is the most like most like dock worker union. <laughs> yeah, <just laughs> Dude, you just gotta watch it. I am Caesar. Julius Caesar of Rome, the emperor. I am also a female. Does anybody here believe that? That I am Julius Caesar? Anybody believe that? No? Of course not. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not Caesar. I'm not a woman. Pause either. it for a second. I'm here. I'm s just like. Obviously, the first thing is like, imagine this was your dad. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. He's like, no, I'm, I'm going to fucking spirit Halloween and I'm going to say what I fucking think. I mean, more importantly, though, it's people are like, so uh, who's, whose father are you? He goes, father. I ain't nobody's father. I'm just a concerned citizen. <laughs> <laughs> dad, please don't do this. I'm Katie, begging Katie, you. Katie, Katie, I already bought the body armor. I don't know what you fucking... You, they, they, they don't take returns on the armor. <laughs> I promise you, whatever you Things going on in my school for me right now is going to be much worse after this debacle. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought his wife yeah, too yeah. was. He was like his first. His first uh, costume was Adolf Hitler. Like, hey, <laughs> Caesar, I'm fucking Hitler. <laughs> Caesar will make the point. Of course not, and I'm not a fucking chick neither. <laughs> Do I look like Phil Spector? No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Phil Spector, am I? Do I look like Jeffrey Dahmer? <laughs> <laughs> no, these glasses, they're fake. <laughs> so, play, play the rest. I'm not Caesar. I'm not a woman either. I'm here as a father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you know what, by the way? Yeah, sorry. I mean, was that the end of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought you had more. I wish you no, did no. have more. But it really felt to me that he was going to be like, I'm not a woman either. And that's why, sharks, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That seems like such a Shark Tank bitch happening. <laughs> but I can be both. <laughs> but in this armor, there's literally estrogen being pumped into yeah. my body, into my veins, turning me into a pretty girl. <laughs> and that's why I'm pitching you the armored pussy. You put it over, you tuck your cock back, put it over. Now, Mr. Wonderful, how about you were Mrs. Sir Wonderful? <laughs> That's fucking amazing. That's fucking amazing, dude. I, uh, you can be Mr. Wonderful of estrogen. <laughs> yeah, then I can play for the Dallas Sparkle or whatever the fuck team it is. And dunk on these bitches. We had, uh, we had one more. Uh, the, the other one. The other town. The other oh, place. this is. This is a different town hall. Yeah, yeah. yeah that one, that one, that this one. This one's great because I genuinely agree with everything she says. Yeah, turn it up a little. As I stand before you, requesting that you decree a sugar daddy and mommy appreciation day on March 10th. Holidays honoring mothers and fathers are widely <laughs> celebrated in different cultures around the world. And now a Florida woman wants a day to recognize a different kind of mommy and daddy. I think it's a very important sugar issue. Father's this is literally Day. female Alex says Stein. her name is Ashley <laughs> Cream took to the floor Wait, is at that a Boca Raton no, planning and zoning board meeting to make real? a request. No. So she's she messing around. With she's having fun. This is female Good evening, Alex everybody. Stein. Everybody's looking absolutely fabulous. Then she educated her audience. I am here as a concerned citizen and voter. The things news has to cover right, right now. Well, so this is inside edition. Is inside edition trash? Yeah, no, no, just pretty pop, legit. Uh, is it? Population of sugar <laughs> daddies the in the US. <laughs> um, it's actually very reasonable. Here's yeah. how Cream says sugar daddies have healthy cream. economy. Her name is Cream. Sugar daddies, both gay and straight, and yes, even sugar mommies, are responsible for college educations, cars, homes, rents, jets, Birkins, and the occasional body enhancement. Supporting our local economy. And here comes this concerned citizen's request. Let us celebrate these giving generous Samaritans. Okay, enough as of this. I yeah, 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 we you. get it. Yeah. Requesting? Uh, once you told me it was Did like she she's, once you told guy? me she's trolling, it's like, uh, who is cares? She 
Oh, I thought that's what you guys said. I can't tell. I, I can't I mean, tell. The tits are for sure. They're the same as the teachers. They're the fake ones. Oh, I really? know. I see cleavage. No, there. I can tell though. You can see. First, I'm real. Look at the nice real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I, I know you can tell they're fake, and then also go back look at her profile. Yeah, her profile. Her profile insane. insane. It didn't make any physical no, sense. It's, not, it's, it's not. so. It's so funny that we were like, we thought it was real, and Danny goes, "No, nah, no, nah, it's a troll. Those tits. Look, 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 look at her profile. Yeah, look, look at that. Okay, fine. The best though is that like these guys are like you know you get you're some city councilor and like you now have to just sit through this fucking <laughs> what is so yeah what is like going on here why can anyone it's go content up? my man you think she's okay she's making her own whatever I she's mean got, you like, guys know TikTok Alex Stein he's that kid's yeah, hilarious well he like started this and now all these people are just copying Who, it became a genre of it became a genre oh really. He's the, the one that went up to uh, AOC and called her uh, a beautiful big Latina, booty Latina, big booty Latina. Ninety percent of town halls are just like people messing with. Them. That's so <laughs> fucked, and they yeah. still have to like do the it. Is yeah, well, you get as a citizen because the problem is there are legit citizens who are batshit crazy. Yeah, and their rights are like they get two, three minutes to just say their piece. Yeah, dude. It's so like then, like, it's just like how much crazier is this person than like an actual crazy person? Yeah. Not much. Gee, they're treating them like open. Mics. I know the problem is, is that <laughs> yes, they film that's them. Correct. Yeah. That's yeah. Yes. But the thing is they film them. So you're like, if you are the person going, you're like, I leave here with a video, like a, a viral video. Like I get a video from this, like with good audio and everything. They edit it. Inside edition makes a fucking piece on it. <laughs> dude. Dude, the funny, dude, there's so many mentally ill people at comedy open mics. If you sent them to town halls, the videos would go viral and they would actually have a great comedy career. Yeah, yeah like it's you a better... Pull, like those, like, there's guys at open mics who are like borderline homeless guys because there's no barrier to entry. It's like skateboarding where yeah. like, you could, doesn't matter how shitty you are. You can yeah, skateboarding, online. you need a skateboard. <laughs> you need a skateboard. Yeah, there's right. more of a barrier to entry to skateboarding. You're right. You do need a skateboard. You don't need anything. You need nothing. But you need they, clothing. If you sent them, there, there's psychos at like New York City open mics and stuff like that. Oh, that there's... Oh, yeah, dude. Of course. Every city's got 150 like real like should be institutions institutionalized problems. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. there well, was a guy in the Orlando... Like, should be, like, villains in, like, Batman. Yeah, yeah where they're ready to snap at any moment. They're ready to snap at any fucking moment. There yeah. are people just, like, uh, like feigning bringing guns. Wearing like, one yeah. shoe to the open mic. Yeah, dude. They're, like, there was a guy who was, like, uh, <laughs> fucking posting on Facebook. He's like, you know, coffee shop show is gonna be a little... Maybe don't go to that. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Yeah. I'm just trying to do five minutes. Well, <laughs> just wearing some sunglasses with one of the lenses is missing. Yeah. It's like the wackiest fucking character. Jesus I, Christ. I was saying that's kind of why like Kill Tony is great because it's like the first show that captured like the essence of a, of a kind of Looney Tune open micer. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they come on. Because you're right. Everyone craziness. tells everyone how wacky everyone is, but you don't get to really see yeah. it. Kill Tony's the first one to put it on display. Yeah, that's Where true, a guy's yeah. like, I'm a cowboy, and, and then he does one minute, and it's terrible, and you're like, how long have you been doing comedy? He's like, 28 years. I'm a, de- <laughs> yeah. I'm a dentist that just has like 10 minutes about getting blown by yeah. a fucking horse. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, they definitely commodified the schizophrenia. Of there was a liking. dentist in Toronto, actually, who came to comedy for a little bit. He There's 20 keep, dentists. But he was saying crazy shit. I remember that now. Yeah. Every <laughs> scene has a dentist. Every <laughs> scene. <laughs> what kind of crazy shit does he get up? I can't like, you know what I fucking do to him when they go to sleep? Is like a Every scene is a sc- criminal that like got out of jail and the jail. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> the dentist yeah. gets on stage. Black people's molars are different. Than black <laughs> Every scene also has a person that can kill for ten minutes and never goes further than that. Uh, speaking English as a second language, funny. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. A stripper, I, dude. We had that exact guy. We in Boston had. Of course, you did. Yeah. Oh, the kid, this dude would crush, the, rip it for ten minutes. It was the same ten minutes for like the entire three years I was there. Mm-hmm. Asian, but, yeah, generally either Asian. Yeah, no, like, no, no. <laughs> no, Toronto had like we had a uh, few five, of them. Six hundred twenty-five pounds. It was it was a lot of like uh, bits like you know when Jenny. I moved when I moved here I thought this was this but and it was like a homonyms. Uh-huh. A lot of homonyms. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know a lot of like double entendres and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. that's an, that's Asian. Yeah, it's, like, it's a very Asian to do yeah. like the Indian the word. Indian comedy is more like hello how are you doing just kidding i don't speak like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I but you that. thought i, I actually did, been opening with that as well <laughs> yeah yeah I go, hello everybody welcome <laughs> welcome to the show <laughs> just kidding guys i don't talk like that the best was there was a guy who did that in toronto uh akshay and then this dude he was he was a really nice <laughs> guy he was the best he was the best and he would do yeah. comedy or whatever and so he was an like, indian dude but he's from toronto like born there and uh and he would Start his bit sometimes, he'd be like, 
Did anybody order taxi? Did anybody, <laughs> hello? Did anybody order? But then one time he, he was so cooked. The one time he came in and he's like, hey, what's up? And then like there was like six people there. He's like, hey, what's up? Um, did anybody order taxi? <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, but you, you, they know you don't <laughs> you talk ruined, like that. You ruined the bit. <laughs> and he realized he ruined the bit, but that was his opener. So that's, he had to just pretend like that didn't happen. That's incredible. Dude, that's way that's funnier. Incredible. Yeah, hey, guys. Like, go, oh, wait, wait. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> I got off on the wrong foot, I believe. Oh, oh my God. I love that guy. Dude, that's uh, fucking awesome. Now, now most Indian comics just sound like, yo, what's up? Man, <laughs> that's true. Man, you or they, or it? they're like they say. There's two versions of Indian. You're either urban or a smug white woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You either go like extremely feminine, smug white, like liberal woman, yeah. or like kind of urban. Yeah, yeah. I'd say, but yeah, probably more urban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's either like Eminem or like a gotcha white lady. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't well, that the, the classic? Just like immigrant, you pick a side. You come to America. You're you go like, white, or black. white or black. Yeah, you know, a little bit. What do you get? What else can you go? There's no other options. What are you going to be like? I'm Indian. I'm, you either go frat I'm boy Joel. or urban. Where we, where I come from, I would say most people it's either frat boy or urban, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm, you could go nerd. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel I, like that's white. Most that of them go nerd. No, no, that's different. Asians have nerd before. Yeah, we have nerd. The, you're gonna take nerd away from the Asians? Because uh, I'm not up. thinking of like yeah, yeah, I'm not thinking of like dark web. Uh, Discord server internet nerd. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I'm yeah, I'm thinking of like chess club nerd. I'm yeah, just a straight yeah, yeah. A's nerd. Straight A's nerds more Indian and Asian. That's for fair. sure. That's I'm fair. gonna be a doctor nerd. Yeah. Although I'm gonna be a doctor nerd, can still dabble with white frat boy in college. That's true, 100. percent Yeah, yeah. I Those a, are like the kids that end up in the hospital like yes, the second week. Yeah, from I had a Filipino roommate. It was just like you know. Kappa kappa kappa. <laughs> 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 I don't condone anything. Like that <laughs> yeah. You just did yeah. anybody want taxi? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the comics bit. I was, I was also an doing Indian a guy. bit. <laughs> Yo, yeah, no, and so was I when I says I went to Bub Picks, you know. Bub. We but, can make uh, fun of other people if you want. Look at me, I'm a white guy. Does that make you happy if we spread it around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's even less cool, Ryan. I don't know. Is that even the playing field for you, Dan? Yeah. Read, the, read the room, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone gets them. You should do more like Woody Allen stuff. Yeah, you have that going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna go. Oh God, David, it's the allergy Oh season. God, I like to. Uh, Sleep with little kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great Woody Allen. Thank you. Yeah, it's, 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 it's in my jeans. I looked at my daughter. I said, "Wow, I, I should fuck her. She's amazing." <laughs> That's actually I better said, than mine. I said, "Sunye, oh my goodness, Sunye, oh my god, you should be on my film sets and suck me off." <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. That's better than mine, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you kind of like. She said she's twelve. I said fourteen. <laughs> uh, she's eighteen. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do with eighteen years? Eighteen, fourteen. I can't get hot unless you're twelve. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm not gonna fuck her. I raised her, <laughs> and now she raised me. <laughs> I mean, Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Woody Allen, return to stand up. She's already in my house. I mean, why would you come to a man's house if you're not trying to get laid? You're telling me a petite Asian sleeps in the bedroom next to me. If I don't fuck, I'm gay. If I don't, yeah. <laughs> you calling me a homo? I'm not. <laughs> Am I gonna fuck my skinny bitch wife? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she was the greatest. Though. She's they the say greatest. you can't fuck your relative because the genes are too close. But this is an Asian woman. There's that clearly is, diversity. In I the mean, gene literally. Pool. I mean, if you think about it, there's really nothing wrong with it. From a, it's actually less inbred than <laughs> if I fucked a white non-relative. <laughs> from a medical standpoint, I mean, you know, Ashkenazi Jews is a lot of crossover there. You yeah, wouldn't yeah. believe it. I mean, technically speaking, we're, we're all born of Africa. We go really back enough. But yeah, I mean, his his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's his um who's the wife the wife that he Mia Farrow Mia Farrow, Mia Farrow. Yeah. Uh, she had the greatest thing ever Mia, Mia Farrow and her black children do you remember that what was the know. black children dude it's the greatest thing ever She she's like on Twitter and she uh posts a picture of she like wants to wish one of her kids a, a happy birthday on Twitter and in order to find a picture of her own child to post on Twitter, she Googles Mia Farrow and her black children. Really? <laughs> and took a screenshot of the Google oh. images result. <laughs> and you can see on top, it says Mia Farrow and her black children. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the fucking best. No, go, yeah, look up, just look up Mia Farrow and her black children. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom into that. You can see. 
Oh, uh, what the fuck, Pinterest? Fucking Pinterest. Yeah, there you go. It says Mia yeah, Farrow and her, and her black, black children. children. <laughs> That's, That's what she wild. Googled. Yeah, I was going to say, if I ever started a band, that would be the name of my band. Didn't her son <laughs> be the one who broke the Epstein thing? Was that Ronan? Mia Farrow? Ronan. Yeah, Ronan, yeah, Ronan, Ronan, Ronan goes was, was it Epstein that he... No, 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 Weinstein. No, Weinstein. It was Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah, Ronan was a bit of a snitch, fair to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronan... Ronan uh, Snitched on Weinstein. Weinstein, yeah. 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 everyone. That yeah. sucks. Ronan man. do be talking down at the courthouse. Yeah, he's. <laughs> yes, he do. <laughs> Tory Lanez would have not. <laughs> Tory Lanez shoots Ronan fair. Tory, for snitching. <laughs> Tory Lanez would have Ronan dancing. <laughs> uh, all right, so Danny, you gotta get dude. out of here. Right? I gotta, gotta, gotta get out of here. All right, we can we can wrap it up. Yeah, dude. Uh, Watch boys the boys cast. cast. Watch the boys okay, cast. I, boys oh, cast. what do you got? A six thirty set? Seven. At the stand. Oh, okay, you only have forty minutes. So. I didn't say I need to leave right now. <laughs> this guy, he's been like, he's been pinching my leg, like, fucking like it's because of the green thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys all? Cool? Do you guys wearing green on purpose? Yeah, for fucking St. Patrick's Day. I actually didn't. It's a local Irish. So, like, is this on purpose or no? Uh, no, but I, I tell you what, I realized it while I had it on. Okay. <laughs> and you didn't. You, you're like before I cool. left my Wait, house, so I realized you guys that. wore green on purpose. For no, purpose. but no. I but I didn't. Maybe I would have remembered and put something green on because I remembered that okay. it was St. Patrick's right. Day, you know. and then made a note that yeah, Just I guess no, I already no got pride. On. So half half <laughs> no pride, pride anymore. Yeah, uh, so how, do, how do you celebrate pride. what St. Patrick's Day? Do you do? How am I? Yeah, how do you celebrate it? Like just getting absolutely wasted. Just shit. House I'm gonna hammer. call my girlfriend's in Florida. I wish I could fucking girl one. Yeah. <laughs> but there I'll, a, I'll give her a call and I go, "You fucking right, cunt." <laughs> I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> leave her freaky Irish voice. What about that for an Irish prank? Is trying to turn pride into Irish pride by having a leprechaun go to all the rainbows and staying <laughs> in a <the> vodka. <laughs> 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 Take He's like, back. this is my heritage you're stealing. We're taking, we're taking pride back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you with doing, a you bunch of queers? <laughs> the rainbow used to mean something. <laughs> <laughs> that Irish thing is shillelagh? Shillelagh is like a thing. Yeah, it's like a club. club. Yeah, it's yeah. like a club, right? Yeah. It's like an Irish club. Uh, yeah, Dude. beat up. Beat up the queers with a shillelagh. Oh, gay bashing with a shillelagh. Go beat them up with a shillelagh. The, uh, the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Buffalo is like insane every yeah. year. It's just like... 10,000 high school Buffalo drinking in the streets. I wouldn't have thought people. that was one that mattered. Yeah, it's like very, it very Irish. Irish yeah, it's very or? Irish. Mm. And uh, the, there's so many people go there. The cops just let everyone drink in public. Uh, well, they're so drunk too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was That's their Williams. day. Yeah, it's Officer McCormick. <laughs> I was in Williamsburg. And, McSorley uh, is tuned up that night. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the lights on, get behind the wheel. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was uh, in Williamsburg and there's this couple like, I just moved to, they're like, oh, we just moved to Buffalo. And they're like this sweet, like married couple. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, where are you living there? Like Allentown, which is the neighborhood. And I was, it was like April. And I was like, oh, like, damn. You, and they're like right in the middle of Allentown. I was like, so like where the St. Patrick's Day parade happened. And like their faces melted. <laughs> and they got so sad. And I was like, D were you there for the St. Patrick's Day? And they were like, it was horrible. <laughs> the, the fathers were drinking with the sons. <laughs> it's not that bad. No, it That's was like. a good time, dude. Yeah. yeah. This guy's blowing out. I don't but, think I've uh, done anything for St. Pat's in a while. No? I don't think so. No. Not anything like where it's a point. Like specifically. I mean, there is no point. You just get drunk. Comedy usually sucks on St. Patrick's Day. I can't. It sounds awful. It's awful. And that's tonight? That's yeah. Today, yeah. 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 It wasn't. <laughs> Spots it's either like, funnest. yeah, it's either like low, like not that many people there or they're wasted. Yeah. But they're Blocked just out. hammered. Yeah. Yeah. They're Generally like, ah. not a good in between. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, comedy sucks on New Year's. You just make a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. Like the actual shows are not great. No. That's like you just wild. Get paid, like, are okay. Uh, do a New Year's show like when it turns into New Year's Eve. It's like, why are we all sitting in a <laughs> sitting in the comedy club? Like, why would they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do the countdown. You're on it's a little bit the corny. And it's like, why don't we all just step outside and get hammered? Get the fuck out of here. Hit a firework, dude. That's, that's you uh, yeah. when you're supposed to be doing the countdown. Yeah, I'm on stage. What's Excuse what, me, guys. What's the, uh, why guys. What are we even? What's the deal with New Year's? Yeah, yeah, speak doing? for yourself, dude. There's no place I'd rather bring in the New Year than stand up New York. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is that what you did last year? <laughs> I can picture Luke definitely getting a good countdown going. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I can. You, you, have, you could you could you could you could hype up a party. I think. Oh, yeah, I could. Luke, I could get loud would, for a Yeah, Luke would crush that. I'd you you're like, too cool for it. You uh, no, ten. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not. Not. He's not too cool. He's just not a natural leader. I'm a natural leader. By example, with 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 silent stoic wisdom, mm. I'm so doing the countdown. Right, guys. Five, four, three, three two. What's the fucking point? What's the point of any of this? This is fucking. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. It's like what is even? 
What are you with this ugly bitch? You guys yeah. gonna have sex tonight? Good luck. A nihilistic know. New Year's countdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you gonna kiss? Yeah. This could be any well, other. Well, I guess moment. Smooch, you know this right, year's yeah. gonna be worse than last year. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess you know so. just an economic collapse and climate change. It's yeah. like, you know the calendar was just invented by a dude. Yeah, it's not really like a real thing. By some guy. Not yeah, Jesus, by a woman. you're not religious. Interesting that you're here still following his thing Sick. to the fucking point, though, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> you little fucking sheep. <laughs> 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 It's another Hallmark holiday. The <laughs> owners Suckers. of this country. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, all right. New Year's, New Queers. New Year's, New Queers. Thing. Listen to Boys Cast. Listen yeah. to Boys Cast. The, the Boys Cast. Cast. The Boys, the Boys Cast. Cast. On YouTube. Every Friday, patreon.com slash the Boys Cast. We just had Martin Screlly on. We got Ari <laughs> Holy shit. in the studio. Yeah. Yep. I mix those guys up all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 And uh, rough week, baby. Subscribe, yeah. like, share with your friends. Oh, yeah, you know, the whole deal. Rate us on Spotify and Apple. Uh, yeah, yeah. Podcasts. Leave us some ratings. About time.